All right. Hey, everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good night, depending on where and when you're viewing this. This is Richard Solomon, and I am happy to bring you another installment in the PhD Chronicles. I think it's been hmm, maybe about eh, four months, five months. I really don't know how long since I uh, did one of these videos, but I thought I should do an update. Let me get this one out so I can hear myself a little bit better. I thought I should do an update um, and I took the, taking the time as I uh, just run, on, run out the road, run out the street to get a couple of things done, not run, but drive. Um, so I hadn't been making any of these videos because I haven't been doing much PhD work in the last, I haven't done much PhD work in the last, I would say maybe four or five months. Um, and it occurred to me this morning that uh, because the intent here is to sort of chronicle this journey, um, that I should include in the journey even these periods of time where uh, only small amounts, if any, uh, PhD type work is occurring. And I do apologize for the uh, movement of this um, camera. I'm on the road and this arm is not as sturdy as I would like it to be. Maybe I need to make it shorter so there's less movement. Maybe in the next one. Anyway, so um, what's been happening? Well, uh, it's today's the 25th of July, uh, 2021. And so uh, we're still very much in the midst. Well, I don't know if it's the midst, but we're still in the throes, if you want, of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic that's still... Uh, grip, gripping and affecting large, a large percentage, large portion of um, of humans, in some way or another. Um, many people have been infected; others have not, but everyone is affected in some way. And in the midst of that, lots of things have changed. Um, the way we do uh, our primary businesses uh, have changed, and counterintuitively one of the things that we've done in this uh, almost two-year period is that we've started three different businesses in very different sectors um, and you might be wondering well what does that have to do with uh, PhD Chronicles well a PhD takes time you know it takes it takes time it takes effort it takes a lot of focus um, none of which I seem to have um, much available to me these days um, I have rarely just had my head down uh, trying to get some operations, business operations started and um, others just trying to keep them, keep them afloat. Um, and that's part of the journey that we're in now. Uh, I'm not overly worried about that, uh, but it has taken uh, a lot of time and a lot of my focus, energy, physical and emotional energy. And so the PhD has intentionally been on the back burner. I made an intentional decision, very specific decision, to let it sit on the back burner for a while, while I deal with uh, these more pressing matters. Um, unlike most people, uh, I do not have, well, let me say that differently. While I had, I had hoped, to get this done in two years and then I pushed it to three um, and I guess if I really pushed I probably could get it done in three but that doesn't even look realistic at this time because um, I'm approaching two and it's gonna take quite a bit of time to gather the data and all the other pieces that need to be done analyze it write it up etc um, so while I had in, um, really ambitious intentions of getting it done in a short period of time that doesn't look possible no one planned for COVID. And people have asked me, why would, why, why would you start, a, start businesses in this period? Well, one of the things that happens in, you know, when markets are not doing well is wealth gets transferred. And if you know what to look for, and if, you, if you're not overly risk averse, then you could take advantage of that. And while that is not about the PhD in particular, um, it does take away my time, um, put my time in other directions. And so over the next, I would say, a uh, couple months I'm going to be cleaning out, <laughs> getting rid of some of the things that I'm involved in um, 
uh, a couple board appointments that I decided that it's not the best use of my time at this point in my life. Um, so I'm going to get out of a couple of those and sort of rearrange a few of the things that I do. Um, at least one of those startups I'm reducing. I'm, I plan anyhow in the next couple of months to reduce uh, my the amount or the extent of um, my of the time I'm spending and hopefully find someone who can who can manage that uh, deal with that uh, in a way that will keep it going the way it's been going which is pretty good um, from a PhD perspective uh, I guess you could ask the question well, what does this mean in terms of your timelines and your agenda and all the rest of it well the work remains um, I imagine well I should say, I should say this you set your own schedule you know uh, at least in the way that I'm doing it uh, there are other programs that are set up very differently but there is always room for extension of time and so on so I'm not overly concerned about that or worried about it I am concerned but not overly worried about it so that's where things are um, I hope that I'll be able to give you an update in another few weeks as to the adjustments I've made to my own schedule and what that means in terms of um, the completion um, and there are quite a few other things that will, will, will need to be adjusted in terms of time. But my supervisor, Dr. Natalie Posadi, says, um, I remember I asked her some time ago, earlier on when I was just sort of getting into it, uh, what are some of the things that really prevent people from succeeding? And she said, well, the biggest one is that life happens. You know, life happens. And um, so life is happening. It's definitely happening. And decisions have to be made as to where you're going to spend your time and for me while a phd is important it's interesting um, I, i'm fascinated with all the things that i've learned and how my lenses have been changed how i look at the world um, socio-economically um, uh, different from a socio-economic and political standpoint historic standpoint there's so much in there um, it's not something that i need to do for survival so for, from a business standpoint, from a survival and growth standpoint uh, of businesses and so on, um, it makes more sense at this time to be focusing my attention where I am focusing my attention. So PhD is still there. I know I'm going to have to read my entire lit review to bring my brain back to where it was uh, six months ago, but I'll do that and get going again in, in the appropriate time. All right, so take good care of yourselves and um, stay subscribed because uh, there'll be more coming down the pipeline. Um, I hope this, this is a, a useful injection of reality that sometimes life happens and you can't always do uh, with the kind of speed that you otherwise would have liked to get done. I don't see that as failure. Uh, I see it as part of the journey. And the destination, while it looks very interesting, the truth is that it's just a destination. The journey is far more interesting. See you soon. Richard Solomon. Take best care.